maybe we can work on an extra day off a month for you that we can work out. Hey, it's not extra pay, but it's something else that we could potentially do, right? Whether it's a situation where we're one conversation away from, we have this conversation against termination, right? It's a semi-gross misconduct situation, and we just, we, it's been decided the person's not gonna be terminated, but if a situation like this happens again, you know, potentially, you know, we're gonna be at that point. Could be a PIP situation, right? What type of help and support are you gonna provide to them? Hey, I can offer you, you know, regular check-ins to make sure that we can work on this behavior together. But again, showing your support, you've hopefully built up a, a relationship with this person, there's a trust there, don't let them go at it alone, okay? And then finally, we're gaining commitment, okay? This is where we're gonna put it on paper, you know, where we talk about um, what specifically is going to be our goal and outcome from this difficult conversation. Um, going back to the one about the close of termination could be the PIP, um, where you're putting somebody on an action plan for what needs to be worked on. You know, what time frames, deadlines are you gonna set as far as expectations for improvement, as an example. Um, okay, any questions about that at all? Comments, make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So, now we get to role play. Role play activity, i do the best I can to explain this here. Um, so there are six of us, that works out perfectly. What I'd like is for groups of three, okay? We have three different role plays, okay? Groups of three. There's gonna be person A, person B, person C, ready? Okay, person A is for actor. You're gonna play, you're gonna play the person receiving the difficult feedback. Well, oh, person A's, oh yeah, yeah person B is, B is our actor, I'm sorry. <laughs> A is the one giving, okay, so you're gonna be the one delivering um, the difficult feedback. Person B is gonna be the actor, you're gonna be the person receiving the feedback, okay? Um, and then person C, I want you to observe what you see, okay? Look for the nonverbal communication, how the delivery is. What I'd like you to do after the role play is done, after person A and B are done having their conversation, just give a little bit of feedback. It's a great opportunity for us to practice giving each other feedback as well as we do this exercise. So some things you see that they, you like that they did, some things that potentially could be done differently for the next time you're in such a situation, okay? All right, and then? So we're gonna rotate through the roles too. So correct. we're all gonna be delivering the feedback at some point. There's three scenarios, so you'll yes. get a chance to do it. So you'll rotate, one person will be A, one person will be B, and B, third person will be C, and then you're gonna rotate roles after each role play. And then we've got some surprise information for our 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 B people. Yeah. So whoever who wants to be person B first, so the person receiving feedback. We're we gonna have one group here, one group here. Is that how we want to do it? Yes. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. So this is about person A. Yeah. 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 And that information on your card is just for you, not to be shared. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So take a, take a minute or two, read through the role play, and then let's go oh, ahead and get into it. Will to give me? Okay. What do you want to do? Um, I'll observe. need to separate a little bit so that you're not like jumping into each other. I mean, obviously we got another desk over here, so that makes more sense to spread out a little bit. You're more than welcome to. Might make more sense. See, we have a difficult conversation we need to have. <laughs> Step of the way. Really? Uh, all I'm doing is trying to help them. 
um, contributions and, and, and I'm working really hard, you know, I've, I've got a family I need to support, I, I, I don't know what my kids are going to do, I need this money, I need this, I need this job, you know, I, 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 I do understand, uh, I do understand, uh, however, all of these things that should happen, and Yeah, you find it, bro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who's going to play our, our actor this time? time? You know, again, please give me a call. Okay. Is anything I can do? You can help babysit yeah. my kids. Like Just for your eyes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish somebody brought this um, to my attention the sooner, the better. 
I'm offended uh, that you think that you know told me. However, there was one thing I was, I was, I was just I was worried. And so we told him, and so we're, we're, we're addressing that, 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 that for you. Um, and then that we started off saying you the good things that you've done. Usually, when we are talking to somebody, we have a bad news. 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 We have a um, when you ask her why, she gives you things that may not be a good thing. We appreciate it and we can take this as an opportunity to help them elsewhere, and this may not be a good thing.